Welcome to the homework for Lesson 7. This is Module 6 of Grade 3. Please write your name first. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Mrs. Felter's students built a model of their school's neighborhood out of blocks. The students measure the heights of the buildings to the nearest quarter inch and record the measurements as shown below. So that's a lot of buildings, and, but they measured all of them in inches. And now the blocks must be small, I imagine, because the largest one is not even five inches. So the height, those are the heights of all the buildings. Uh, use the data to complete the line plot below. All right, there's a lot of different ways to go about doing this. Some people like to go um, start look at the line plot and say, let's look at all the threes and then go through here and hunt through the chart for all the threes and make an X for each one of those and then cross them off on the chart as you go to make sure you don't count them twice or skip one. That that I've just seen that. A lot of times that works, but I've seen a lot more often than not it doesn't. You'll end up skipping one and not even knowing it. Uh, or you get interrupted in the middle of it. That's what happens too. So what I like to do is I like to just mark my X's as I go from left to right across the chart. So I'm going to do the first row and just mark my X's. So here's what I'm going to do. This one here is three and a fourth. So here's three and a fourth, and I'm going to make my X right there. Three and three fourths, that goes right here. Four and one fourth, that goes right here. Try to keep your X's the same height. Remember, we're trying, it's almost like an array, except we're not going to have an X for every spot in the array. So four and a half, that one's going to go here. Three and a half, that one goes here. Four, that one goes here. Three, that one goes here. So now, so far, everybody has an X. All right. Three and three fourths. That's another X. Three, there's another X. Four and a half. That one goes there. Three. Three and a half, three and three fourths goes here, three and a half goes there, four gets its second mark, three and a half gets its fourth X, three and a fourth gets its second X, three and a half. It's another one. That one's kind of going sideways as it goes up, but it's still okay. Four. Three and three fourths. Should be this look the same as the four. It's four X's, right? Three. Now has four X's. Four. Actually, that one's kind of. Let me fix that one a little bit because it's kind of up there a little bit more than it should be. That's a little bit better. And that was the three because I crossed it off, right? See what happens? You get interrupted and you can't remember which one you marked and which one you didn't. So there, since that's three, that's the one I was just fixing. I can see I crossed that off already, so I'm not going to go back and mark it again. Four and a quarter. Four. Three and a quarter. That goes here and four. So that's what happens usually is that uh, you're going to get interrupted and I interrupted myself and it's really hard to avoid when you're trying to mark this many different uh, this many different things to get your chart right. Uh, you're going to get you can't get through the whole thing. It's really hard to go through it all and get interrupted. You just have to be lucky to make it and that's you know th that's usually when mistakes are made.
So try to pick a strategy that you can be interrupted and still not, and still be able to check it to make sure you know where you still are. And mine was just to like go in order across the rows and down to the next row and down to the next row and so on. So let's see, we need a title for this line plot. We just use the same as the title here. Um, but we don't need to write the in inches part. That part we're going to put underneath the line. So this should be heights of buildings. And the label we want is inches. And each X equals one building. There. Uh, how many buildings are four and one quarter inches tall? Well, now that everything's been sorted, we can just look at the line plot and we can see that there are two X's under four and a quarter. How many buildings are less than three and a half inches? So you have to be less than three and a half to be in this club. So we can't count three and a half, but everything on this side of three and a half, we're going to count. And that is three and four, which is seven. How many buildings are in the class model? Well, it's e easier, even easier than counting the X's is to look at this. Right, where do we have? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We have five rows of five. It's easier to just look at that as an array and multiply it, right? Because each, each measurement is a building and we have five rows of five. So how do you know? I'm just going to write 5 times 5 equals 25. The chart has 5 rows of five twenty five buildings. And I ran out of page there. So sometimes it happens and you're gonna just do what you have to do. I did carry the ings onto my next line down just to squeeze it in and you really I, if i had thought of it at the time i should have started over here and then i would have had room so i'll try to remember that next time and do better brooks says but it's readable and that's what matters like look at this can somebody read it who doesn't already know what i'm trying to say can they read it well my handwriting could be neater but i think that can be i think that's readable so brooke that's pretty easy. Brooke says most buildings in the model are at least four inches tall. Is she correct? So let's see. Most are at least four inches tall. So to be in this club of most, uh, you have to be at least four inches tall, which means the smallest anything four inches or larger, since at least means that's the smallest you can be and still be in this club, is that most. We know how many there are, right? So there's 25 buildings. And we can count how many are, are at least four inches tall. There's one, two, three, four, five, and four more. So there's nine. So that's only nine. Let's 
there are only nine buildings at least four inches tall um, Brooke is not correct. And that would probably be fine right there. Except I'm going to, and that correct, I'm going to do this over because that C looked like an E. You just have to slow down a little bit, and then it's, it comes out so much better, and it doesn't take that much longer to slow down. Just a little bit to be careful. Brooke is not correct. Uh, what, for 25, she would need a, more than half, right? Uh, so that would be, uh, she would need at least, let's see, 12 would be less than half. So she'd need at least 13. She would need 13 or more to say most. Right, because that would be more than half. 